This is G.I. Joe Retaliation Flint. The figure is part of the second wave of the 3.75 inch figures for the G.I. Joe Retaliation toy line. Pretty interesting figure. Here is a quick look at the packaging. Uh, okay. Um, it's a nice figure, although it's not accurate to who Flint was in the cartoons. I understand uh, they were trying to do something new with G.I. Joe Retaliation, uh, change up the roles of each of the characters, yet still somehow trying to get some uh, aspects of what the character was uh, back in the 80s and how the modern uh, adaptation of the character would be. However, uh, after watching the movie, I felt that Flint was the one that deviated most from the original character. He was not a warrant officer, I think. I'm not sure. He was clearly wasn't the second in command after Duke Roadblock was, or something like that. Uh, the love interest between him and Lady J, that was pretty G1, uh, or 80s. I like this beret on him, although I don't think he used it much on in the movie. It is removable. I like this nice touch on, on the removable beret. Uh, overall, I, uh, you know, um, despite what you might you might say about the character after watching the movie and whatnot, he's parkour. <laughs> um, I kind of like the actual figure itself. Uh, you get a lot of accessories. You get uh, an additional uh, web belt, uh, weapons, weapons uh, accessory, or what do you call this? Yeah, a web belt or something like that on him, which is a separate piece. Um, he does suffer again from the limited articulation, much like the Firefly figure, Cobra Commander figure. Kind of sucks, but I guess that's been the trend of these new retaliation figures. And I wish, you know, Hasbro didn't, you know, when Hasbro substituted uh, articulation for these gimmicky uh, accessories that came with the figure. I mean, they, they're just shooting themselves in the foot. G.I. Joes were popular because they had awesome articulation back in the day, in the 90s, 80s. 90s um and they had a ton of really useful accessories they didn't have these corny accessories that were just catering to kids and uh i don't know if you can see it just like the red ninja has got a zip line with a launching claw and um it's got the same gimmick i don't want to talk too much about it it's got the same gimmick uh that the red ninja had you can line him up this way and you could rappel or have him zip through using this um, device. Now what's interesting about this device, which that's why I'm not being too hard on this one, is it if you move the web belt a little bit down, it can serve as a sort of like a backpack, uh, much like if you remember the Sky Commanders, Sky Commanders, I mean back in the 80s, uh, it kind of looks like that, so you can rappel or zip through the line using it as a backpack. Otherwise, you can have him hold here on these handlebars, and you can zip through, uh, zip through the line just holding this accessory like that, uh, which is again corny. So yeah, it, it's it's a neat little sculpt. Um, I wish they could have reserved this for an actual bigger playset instead of the regular 3.75 inch toy line uh, so that the articulation didn't suffer as much. But again, you know, I uh, won't be too hard on this figure. And uh, suffice to say, I actually like it. Um, if you're buying, you're trying to complete the Joes, uh, movie appearance Joes, this is not a bad figure to pick up. He's not going to be hard to find, even if it's single, short pack. Not a lot of collectors are picking him up because he wasn't that, you know, in the movie, he didn't really make that much of an impact. Except that he was like a cool sidekick or something like that. Uh, Lady J was a, a lot better uh, as a character than this guy. He severely lacked d development, character development. Um, Lady J had that, you know, story, backstory with her dad being in the service and not wanting her to be in the service. She wanted to be in the service so that she could outrank him and he would salute her and whatever. Um, but this guy severely lacked some development. Uh, and again, as I said, he's just like a really nice sidekick with all his parkour and uh, his stealth moves and 
you know, he was the guy. In the in the cartoons, Flint was never like that. He was like, I don't know. Anyway, um, I would have wished that they'd given him his signature shotgun or at least that grenade launcher we saw in the movie. Uh, maybe we'll get it in the Ultimate Flint character. I don't know. But for this character, he's pretty movie accurate. Just wish they had he they'd given him that weapon. Pain apps are pretty cool. There are not a lot much to say about it. Uh, except for the white paint bleeding into the game. But that's very minor. Uh, he comes with several accessories. Again, the web belt, the Sky Commander's backpack, uh, a rifle, two machine guns. Yeah, this one's a rifle. This one's a, I don't know, a smaller gun. Uh, he also comes with a machete that he can put in the holster or the scabbard. Um, and the removable beret. He, articulation wise, he's got a ball jointed neck, ball hinged shoulders and elbows, swivel wrist, uh, ball jointed upper torso. Please tell me there's articulation in the torso. I will hit. Yeah, there is. Um, there's a ball jointed hip, single hinge knee, and no ankle articulation. All in all, I'd still give this figure an. 85% simply because I really like the way they've executed him. I mean, it's good enough. I mean, they could have been better, but uh, he's a pass for me. Uh, please don't pay more than, than retail prices for this one. He's not that hard to find. I, I think he's probably be on clearance somewhere. Uh, he's a nice pickup. I think he's a better pickup than the Cobra Commander. Um, so you can complete your Joes. Uh, but, you know. Despite what, what's lacking in him, still not a bad figure. Pretty decent, in my opinion. So if you like this video, please click, click, click the thumbs up icon at the bottom. Follow me on Twitter, Keek, Instagram. Check out my videos on FX Friends and Chefatron on YouTube as well as on Tech Sushi. This is G.I. Joe Retaliation Flint. Thanks for watching.